from Medford, Oregon to Medford, Massachusetts. Why, Dave? Well, um, it's been a personal goal of mine for over four years now. Um, I feel that, uh, you know, a lot of us runners here in the greater Boston area and all over the country, as a matter of fact, you know, we're, a lot of us are limited. We don't have the ability such as a Billy Rogers or a Frank Schroeder, and we want to set goals for ourselves, and this has been something that I've worked at for over four years now and trained and organized for. My sponsors, Pro Specs, uh, Specs International Incorporated and Avon Mass, um, they've... Uh, given me the shoes to run in and test for them and uh, everything's working out perfect and they've been very gracious and we really appreciate and acknowledge their sponsorship and again we're doing it for the Jimmy Fund of Boston and uh, every step I take is for those kids so anything that anyone can do please send you know your contributions to post office block 700 Boston Mass. This evening a 23 year old marathon runner from Medford Massachusetts David McGilvery is going to embark on quite a mission. He is going to run coast to coast, starting here at the Kingdom in Seattle, and will run coast to coast, and will wind up, if all goes as scheduled, at Fenway Park on the night of Tuesday, August 29th, when the Red Sox face the Seattle Mariners. Still ahead of schedule on his 3,200-mile run, but expects a tough haul the next 10 days through the desert. Next step is onto the desert, so it's going to be pretty hot, and uh, I just hope it's not too bad. On the first part of the journey, I was looking at all the life. There were plants and birds and rocks and things There was sand and hills and rain The first thing I met was a fly with a buzz And the sky with no clouds The heat was hot and the ground was dry But the air was full of sound I've been through the desert on a horse with no name It felt good to be out of the rain you can remember your name Cause there ain't no one for to give you no pain Dave McGillivray, running coast to coast for the benefit of the Jimmy Fund, checked in with HDH this morning. We're in a city called Steamboat Springs, uh, Colorado, and uh, we're definitely in the thick of the Rocky Mountains at the moment. And we, I've run uh, 1,247 miles, and I'm approximately 40 miles ahead of schedule. It's the Colorado Rocky Mountain High. Friend, Nebraska. It's about 50 miles west of uh, Lincoln, Nebraska. And my companions have been super. Uh, companions like Danny Carey's been cooking for me, and Jeff Donahue's doing all the PR work and riding the bike and the moped next to me. And Kent Hawley has been running between 10 and 20 miles a day with me and everything. So they've been super. And everybody at home, I, you know, my hometown of Medford, Mass. They've been super. Get Pleasant, Iowa, which is about 30 miles west of the old Mississippi River. So uh, by the end of today, I would have crossed the Mississippi River and into Illinois. So I'll be pretty excited about that because I feel that officially I'll be in the east. Ten 
Kendallville, that's Kendallville, Indiana, and uh, so far I've covered 2,562 miles, and I uh, have approximately 850 miles left, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, we have tw 22 days remaining, this is our 58th consecutive day, we our day off, and uh, three weeks from Tuesday we'll be home. Uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, we'll be in Ohio, and then Pennsylvania, and uh, you know how close that is. As far as the temperature is concerned, it's been fair, but it's been raining an awful lot. Uh, as soon as we crossed the Mississippi, it really started pouring out around in the east, east around here. And uh, today it rained all day, and it's it's tough to, uh, it's a welcome change from the 100 degree temperatures, but it is difficult to run like 47 to 53 miles a day in the pouring rain, but it's just one of the many challenges you have to expect on the run. You know, I, I always said there were three parts to the trip. That was the first part was the, the, the day after the first day and see how I felt. And then two weeks into the trip. And then I said that the third part is when you get the feeling that you've made it. And I'm close to that now. I'm into Pennsylvania and it's going to be a very, very difficult part of the trip. In fact, it might even be more difficult than the Rocky Mountains because I have covered so many miles thus far. But uh, once I get through this week, I think I have it. But it's, it's funny, I feel like a homeland pigeon, you know, I, they dropped me off in Oregon and now I'm trying to find my way back home and uh, hopefully in, in two weeks from Tuesday, you know, I'll, I'll be there. I even ran into a kid today who was a little kid, maybe seven years old, he came up to us and uh, he comes up to the bus and he says, hey, who's this Jimmy guy? Because the, the Jimmy fund is written all over the bus. Like a in the night, yes, the snow settles away. There's a fire burning bright in Massachusetts And there's a house upon a hill That keeps us from the chill And by the grace of God we will be in Massachusetts It's been a dream of mine for over four years And it will conclude uh, uh, within the next day And It'll always be something I'll remember for the rest of my life. That you laughed about Well the names have all changed Since you hung around But those dreams have remained And they've turned around Who'd have thought they'd lead ya Who'd have thought they'd lead ya Back here where we need ya Back here where we need ya Yeah we tease him a lot Cause we got him on the spot Welcome back Welcome back Welcome back Welcome back 